how to develop your intuition is actually a little bit of the wrong question to ask because I believe that it's how to not be in our mind because we are highly intuitive beings and I believe that in our society we've just learned to shut that down so we're constantly forced into systems where we go against our will and against our intuition and we just have to follow what everyone else says it's not a surprise that we don't understand what intuition is and we don't hear it that much that there's nothing that we need to develop it's intuitively there so the first step is understanding where you're placing your attention because if you are trying to tune into your intuition and your attention is somewhere else then there's no way you're ever going to hear it become conscious of where do i put my attention and try to consciously put it inside of your body meditation for example is a really good practice for this right because it's the art of focusing your attention the second is what sensations do i have in my body what emotions do i feel and it can be sensory input what i see and what i hear and feel and it can also be the emotional experience. Just checking in, like, what am I feeling? Where am I feeling this in my body? Do I have pain? Do I feel sad? Do I feel upset? And perhaps express that as well in any kind of way so that you don't have lots of triggering emotions that are kind of blocking your intuition. Just let it all release and be felt. The third thing I would say is it's actually quite easy to ask yourself and get answers. So write to yourself. You can simply ask yourself, like aloud, what you're feeling and see what answers you receive. And usually your intuition speaks very clear and very direct. It's kind of a practice where you also need to kind of not let your mind control the story and just listening to whatever you reply to yourself. And the first thing that I would say is these this intuition when you get this like aha moments and you just suddenly have the answers to your problems those are really hard to control because obviously they just kind of appear but what i've found really helps is focusing your mind on something like a task that it can do and when i do that my mind doesn't have to concentrate on thinking it, it concentrates on the task so it could be listening to a podcast it could be painting something it could be listening to music or walking on the beach or doing something where my mind has a task you know and and meditations with mantras for example is a beautiful beautiful example of that is keeping your mind occupied with the task so that your body and your intuition can speak to you freely without the mind kind of shutting that part down so the fifth thing is simply practicing to trust your intuition and that means taking the decision that you feel with your gut or your heart, your being, that this is something that really excites me or that feels right. And then even though your mind might have a logical reason for you not to do it, just do it anyway and see how that feels. The more you do that, the more you build trust that your intuition is actually wiser than your mind. And it will lead you to places that your mind could never have imagined or thought about because it didn't know that at that point, right? Your, your intuition, your inner wisdom just knows things that your mind can't explain and so just follow that process of trusting it the thing is i believe our mind is designed to keep us safe and comfortable and what happens a lot of times when we listen to our mind is that we kind of shrink a little bit like our comfort zone is just shrinking and shrinking and shrinking the, the more we listen to our mind because it just wants to keep us safe and alive and the intuition for me is opposite it constantly wants us to expand and do things that we are a little bit scared of doing and if we can keep being more here, like we will expand and expand and expand our, our comfort zone. And so I believe that, that following your intuition automatically kind of expands your comfort zone. So sometimes your intuition might not lead you to a place of feeling safe. It might actually challenge you more than it uh, gives you immediate joy. But in the longer term, it's the deeper fulfillment of doing what you really feel called you to do. So this is the summary. First, where do I put my attention and put my attention inside of myself? Second, what am I feeling? What sensations do I feel in my body and express those emotions? Third, write to myself or ask myself questions and automatically see what I answer. Fourth, occupy my mind with something like a task that it can do that the rest of me can kind of zoom out of that activity. 
if it's a mantra meditation or if it's walking on the beach or listening to a podcast anything that keeps my mind busy so that the intuition is allowed through me and then fifth it's constantly build trust with your intuition so try something today that you really feel called like doing and see what happens and then just continuously take decisions from